All right, so look, one of my favorite brands decided to play Father Christmas, you know, Santa Claus. Chubby, white guy, white beard, you know the guy, right? Because I was just chilling, minding my business, doing some work, and then the doorbell goes, ding dong, and I'm over here like, who's this? And guess what? Ultra Running sent me a parcel. One of the biggest parcels I've ever received in my life. This one here. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox this box. <laughs> Let's get to it. Ultra Running unboxing, three pairs of shoes. Let's go. All right, before I start opening the shoes though, let me introduce myself. My name is Aubrey, I'm an average runner, simply trying to be less average by the day, and I'm sharing a video every single day in December leading up to Christmas. So this is video number 15. Let's do it, ultra unboxing. So let's start here. That looks delicious, it looks edible, I love it. But it looks like this one. And I was like, well, what's the difference? because they look pretty much the same, until I found out. You see, the Torin 7, great daily trainer, but it's very different, because this shoe is very unique. You see, Ultra are known for zero drop shoes, meaning the measurement you get at the back and the front are the same. Normally, let's say, that would be 30 mil, and the front might be 20 mil, that would mean 10 mil drop, right? But ultras are zero. So they're the same all the way through, essentially providing you the same cushioning from the back, the front. That's, that's essentially what it is. But this is not just that. It's a support shoe. It's a stability shoe. It's actually the only shoe I own that is a support slash stability shoe, but with a zero drop. This is Ultra Stability Shoe. Asics, Asics, I've got the Gel Cayano and Puma. I've got Puma's version over here, and that is the Forever Run. This shoe is the only one across all of my shoes that is a support stability shoe, but at zero drop. All right, that's shoe number one. Let's talk about the second one. Now, this one I'm hyped about. I've just spent a lot of time preaching to you about the fact that Ultra is known for a zero drop. This is the exception. This, an Ultra's first non-zero drop shoe, is called the Forward Experience. A daily trainer, very, very, very comfortable. 32 at the back, 28 being a four mil drop. Like I say, it's an outlier because Ultra doesn't do this. But the difference between this shoe and many other shoes with a drop, that foot shape. Ultra is known for this foot shape, this space at the toe box. They are known for the outsole that does that. You see, that imitates the bone structure in your foot, not only allowing you very good flexibility this way, but also a flexion that goes side to side, imitating the bones in your foot. I'm excited to try this because you know what? I haven't tried an ultra shoe that has this because this is the first one. I wanna see what it compares to. So I've got detailed spec sheets for all these shoes, but this video is not about that. This is me just sharing with you what I've received, kind of letting you know what's to come on my channel. I'll be reviewing all of these shoes. Let's move on. Now, this one is very important. Shoe number three. I can't believe that I've just received three pairs of shoes from a shoe brand. It's progress, we're getting somewhere. Right, now I have to show you these two shoes together. You see, first we had this one. This is the Via Olympus. Now, Ultra, this is the only offensive thing I'm ever gonna say about your shoes. But if there was someone, a bricklayer, missing a brick in his building a house, and he needed a brick to finish it, this would have done the job. Because you know what? Whilst I thought it's a max cushion shoe and therefore very comfortable, when you stepped into it, it wasn't all that comfortable. It wasn't cracked out to be what it was marketed as. This wasn't as comfortable as I thought it would be. I mean, look at it. I look, as soon as you look at that with the max stack, you go, this is about to be cushioning defined. And it unfortunately wasn't. And in fact, I've never actually reviewed this shoe simply because I didn't quite get into it and I didn't think my views would be right. But they heard the feedback everyone complained about. Uh, they've given us 
two. Now, take this from me. I'm an Ultra fanboy. I love the things Ultra does. So when I criticize a shoe, I mean it. What I criticized in the version one, I assure you, is not gonna be the case here. That genuinely is a Max Cushion shoe. Again, this is gonna be very unique, because guess what? I've got a gazillion Max Cushion shoes, because that's my favorite category. None of them are zero drop. I've got a gazillion Max Cushion shoes, but none of them imitate a foot shape. You see this? That's what Ultra is known for. Gazillion Max Cushion shoes, and none of them imitate a foot structure as well as that. I can't wait to see what this is like now. Let me just be open and honest here. If it happens that this is not what it's cracked out to be, I'll be open and I'll tell you. Thank you very much for spending time with me. That was an unboxing. I look forward to running in these shoes and eventually sharing my opinion with you all before Christmas happens. Thank you.